Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy, episode number 44. On the Brink of War. Episode 44, On the Brink of War. See it? Has a nice little rhyme to it. Uh, now, as far as we... As far as uh, everything goes, we're still waiting to commit to the final design of the Terrapin Maximus. But uh, we getting, I got a, a little bit of advice on what it might be. This I think, called the temp Temporarily. But this will be the ter Terrapin Maximus. I really like that name. Um, yeah, so we have this idea ready to go. And I don't know, do we have some weight savings or did, did I just pull extra ammo out of my wherever? Who knows? 28, 11, 04. Uh, people were talking about, what was it? Uh, there was a good there was good advice. Oh yeah, the advice was to merge this into a three turret ship. Somebody even recommended just two turrets, two eight, uh, two four gun turrets, so eight guns total. <clears throat> and we're at twelve right now, so that'd be a thirty three percent reduction. But I mean, this looks nice. The reason why I don't uh, have a hard time with this uh, stupid quadruple turrets is because they just look so ugly. They look so ugly. Now it was good advice actually that was battle cruisers probably spend their time chasing ships more often than dreadnoughts. I don't think I can argue with this. I think this is true. Battle cruisers usually are more in the chase game, and dreadnoughts usually it's like okay, line up and shoot. So in this sense, there is some benefit I think to um, minimizing the number of rear-facing turrets to save quite a bit of space. What do we do with that extra space? We can give it better armor, which is one recommendation. Um, I think I actually would rather take down the... Dis no, no, no. Let's keep this as a behemoth. Let's just lock that. Um, is this exactly the same design, by the way, as my democracy? Apparently, I just really like this design. <laughs> I, it, would, it would be the, end, the second one I ended up building like this. How in the world, by the way, did I... Oh, these because these are 18-inch guns. I mean, this new class of ship, whatever it is, the Terrapin Maximus, it might be better than my democracies because looking at this, I don't understand how we didn't get more out of 18-inch guns. If we can do this and delete this, which I think this will probably be my configuration as well. I mean, I like to role play it in my head that it makes sense you would use the same design twice. Like, okay, the democracy was our test class. We ironed out the kinks. We really like the potency of that kind of design. Let's go with it again. How ugly is this? I'm just gonna do this temporarily. Honestly, it's not terrible, huh? Maybe not as bad as I thought. Maybe even better because at least they're uniform. Yeah, okay, let's go with the old 444. For those of you who know American football at all, this is kind of a joke. The 444 is an illegal configuration where you sneak an extra defensive man. We're sneaking an extra gun into uh, uh, the design. Uh, yeah, I think this is what we're going to go with. I think this is it. This is it. This is the Terrapin Maximus. Let's get her properly named Maximus class. Nothing's wrong with her. Everything is perfect. Let's get her uh, 110. Not sure how much of that she'll use. You know, chasing down ships. I think Dreadnoughts, oh, okay, I'm trying to think which one uh, will end up spending more ammunition, Dreadnoughts or Battle Cruisers? Part of me thinks probably Battle Cruisers because they can chase down more. Dreadnoughts are really in for the just the fight, and then after the fight's over, I mean, what, what's left to do? Uh, you can't chase down because you're not fast enough. So this is basically a Battle Cruiser, but effectively probably just a modern battleship. Um, yeah, we're really entering the, you know, the modern era of that. I mean, it would, when was Bismarck laid down? I think around this time. Maybe a couple years still in the future, but you know, I mean, in this decade, right? 
maybe she was laid down in 37. Uh, I don't know why it matters. <laughs> okay, no, I think it was before 36. All right, doesn't matter. Somebody will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. It's fun to know these little details, but not important. Um, yeah, I think this is it. This is going to be the Terrapin Maximus. Let's see what she costs in terms of maintenance and all that. Remember that our democracies cost 7091, 913. So the engine makes a pretty big difference. Woo, 900, almost broke the 200 million mark. I think I have broken the 200 million mark before, so I'm not sure if that's a benchmark. It's not certainly something we're shooting for, but we're gonna keep that in reserve for now. We don't have the bun the buns, the balance or the funds. We don't have the buns for that. And we're gonna be at war very soon, so we do need to lay her down quickly, but let's wait for the war to begin or budget to otherwise take a huge kick up, a huge positive increase, and then we'll see what goes on. Okay, this is perfect timing, by the way, to give me news of the German stuff. The Braunschweig class. 10 16 inch guns. They're using the five centerline double turret configuration. Whoa, well, that, I mean, in terms of armor, they will out armor us belt wise. We will, out, we will out armor them deck wise and turret wise. I'm talking about the democracy, not the Terrapin Maximus. And their conning tower is insanely large. I uh, don't think there's much point to that, but that's fine. Okay, well, surprisingly, okay, I was going to say surprisingly we are not at war, but no, we, we are at war. And what the hell, our first battle happens in Coastal Raid, my least favorite. What dreadnoughts do we have here? I think these are our Philippine class. I was really hoping they wouldn't accept, but they did. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is why I forgot. This is why you never take these stupid coastal raids, because it just ends up being something stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, good. It's going to be dark. At least that means it'll end sooner. I don't even know what class we have here. We have the invader class, which, okay, just head to port immediately. We'll put them in this little loop. I'd rather them, you know, just not engage at all. Sneak your way back to Seattle, boys. All right, it's midnight. Might behoove us to put some guns over here. We end up fighting enough of these things. Still ultra fast, which means they're not detecting our ships, which is nice. We're going to put these invaders right in. Okay, fine. Perfect. Uh, technically a marginal victory because they didn't sight anything. I'm completely okay with this. I should have looked at the actual ships they were using. Um, okay, so now we have the... Not much of an increase in balance, huh? But we still have some ships being finished. And that explains that. Okay, so we have to put all of our, whoa, reserve ships, so mobilization, just to do that for me, thank you. And all these minesweepers now have to go on to Coastal Patrol. Somebody was mentioning, actually, I should build some more, I'm just remembering these comments, I, you know, I read them all, I respond to them, and then I forget to actually do something about it. We should probably build some more minesweepers, as Germany has, apparently, a lot of submarines, 131. Okay, so it would have been terrible if we had fought some of these other... I think the nations go a little absurd. I don't think it's realistic to have a nation fielding... I mean, Germany, I think, in all of World War II, fielded what? I don't know. I, I actually don't have a number. I was going to say something, but now I just realize I have absolutely no idea how many they fielded. But it seems a little surprising to me that in peacetime you have so many ready to go. Especially some of these nations are not really in high tensions. Like Italy, what the heck are you doing with 324? It's like their entire fleet is just, I mean, literally it is. Holy cow, what is Italy doing? <laughs> they have just decided to go with a pure submarine tactic, but uh, I, I don't know about that. Okay, so we didn't do any moving of sea zones. Look at that, 9 and 10, our minesweepers are doing a great job. 
I hate these coastal raids. I'm going to decline. I'll take the victory point loss. I just hate them so much. You know, they're just... If I could auto-resolve them, or if I knew which ships were going to be on in them, and then I had a chance to auto-resolve, that would be fine. Of course, if you knew what ships the enemy had, that would be a little bit unfair, but just give me an idea of what I'm dealing with. So it's like a trade-off between realism and gameplay. But since this is a game, it's still nice when it's enjoyable. All right, so how are we gonna do this? First, let's try, try, try to take a look in target, perhaps. Yeah, I think it's very easy to say we should be targeting Southeast Asia. So let's move all of our invader classes, and I think also our Philippine class, out there. Okay, out you go. Southeast Asia, destination. Okay, good, that's gonna be a lot of pressure on them there. We have some other, our old Grand Rapids originally built over 30 years ago, still going strong. They did have that massive engine refit, which put them at 27 knots. Okay, so they're pretty much already in place. Uh, yeah, I think I'll actually leave them exactly how they are configured. This will stop west the West Coast from having any problems invasion-wise, I believe. And we have some Lightning classes, which are currently on the West Coast. These probably also deserve to go to... Well, let's... Which one is the better one? <laughs> which one? 12 versus... Wait, 12? Oh, it was deck top that I changed. 3.5, 120, 4, and 115. The better armored ones, uh, okay, let's send the better armored ones, the duo, to Southeast Asia. All right, does that mean that we already took the German province? Because there is one in, did they lose it? I think we already took it. Yeah, Kyosho Bay, I guess we've already taken it. Well, I don't know if we need to sit any troops here. Let's leave the battle cruisers there just for a moment and see what happens. Let's also split our Yosemites, three and three, I guess. West Coast, I mean, sorry, East Coast and the Caribbean, just to cover our bases. And as far as the rest of our dreadnoughts go, we don't have any. Okay, well, there's that, of course. Oh, that's because all the Tycos are <laughs> under repair, great. So the, the democracies will stay on the East Coast, the Tycos will go to the Caribbean, and probably, the, ultimately, we have enough democracies that they'll have a huge split. We'll send a whole bunch to the Northern Europe theater and try to do some damage to the German home waters. Ah, don't even have unrestricted on. But it's just prestige, who cares about prestige anyway? So 16 and 6, two of our minesweepers down, 15 and 6, they outdid us. Ooh, east coast, my goodness. All right, well, the enemy troops in the area are like a nice signal to us that this is not going to be a fun engagement, but we'll accept it. Yeah, we have, you know, whatever, not interesting ships involved. That's what I would say. Let's look at the time for this one. It's going to be daytime, at least. Local time is 5.30, so... We'll wander around and see if we can catch some. Should be getting to be daytime soon, but yeah, I guess if the light ring persists... Maybe not. Oh, it did not. Uh, vision's, like, mediocre. Okay, it's the raining again. We're still at ultra fast, which means that they haven't detected. There he goes. I was just playing chase with that one flag. It was a destroyer which lost command, lost its eyes on the fleet. Somehow was able to shadow us without rejoining. This is so interesting. 
I love Coastal Patrols. Okay, so another victory for us in the sense that they had a light cruiser hanging around somewhere. Let's take a look at what it was, so at least we gained some intel out of this, you know, otherwise boring engagement. They are using four dual turrets, which is nice, effective. 30 mines, low armor, we could have taken it. Yeah. Crew quality negative one, it's always nice to see. Okay. And frankly, I'm not going to have too much time for this episode. It's just going to be a, a quicker one. We're at war. That's the big news. This is the war to end all wars. And by that, I mean it's the last war of the series. So the U.S. campaign has been going on for months. <laughs> I mean, the, I'm talking about the actual video series has been going on for a very long time. So, I mean, what did we start this in March? <laughs> May, April, maybe? I don't know. A very, very long time indeed. So it's time, right? Put her out to pasture. But hopefully let's go out with a nice fiery engagement with the Germans. Hopefully get our democracy classes in that. Um, speaking of... Can we just start building? Okay, the Tycho's are all going to be finished next turn. And democracies are very close to being finished. So let's go ahead and start building... Uh, Terrapin Maximus. Let's start building her. Now, I thought something came to mind in my brain. We still have 700. We don't really need more rounds per gun. We could get one more. But I don't think... Oh, we could go to 11.5. And then what, 120? I don't really think we need that, though. But to her top. Jeez, my goodness. Amazing. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. And you know what? Yeah. As uh, I think Blinson, Battle Group Gamer, was mentioning, I would, not to sweat 30 tons. It's, it's really insignificant. When you're looking at 52,000, <laughs> 30 is not enough to really care about. So I like this. It's a little bit lighter in terms of belt armor than our um, democracy, but only by half an inch. Deck at four, it's reasonable. It's pretty good. And this thing may have to do engagements with light cruisers on its own, so having the higher belt might be useful. Since uh, some of those six inch guns, quality one six inch guns, are nothing to sneeze at. Is this it? Am I missing anything? The 444, the old 444. Two, medium, medium, 28, no oil. Looks good. Complement of 874 is extremely light for this big of a ship. I'm sure that it's like two, it's like thousands, isn't it? It's like 2,000 for a ship this size. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting triple. I've never, I don't think I've ever gone with a triple secondary configuration. Triple turret, secondary gun. So, I don't think it's going to matter. Yes. There she is. Let's build her. She is the mightiest of our ships. 200 tons greater than the democracy class. Let's delete the Tortuga since that's null and void, as is the temp itself. So the 200 tons, the superior. Half an inch inferior otherwise in deck and in belt. And uh, I guess a full inch inferior in terms of uh, guns, armament. But better quality. I think quality one seven inch guns, 17 inch guns are just the best in the game. So the first of the class will be the Mars. It'll be an extra 11 million ooh, to build this. And I'm going to somewhat riskily... Oh, God, I don't have my... You know what? No, I guess I can't build a second one yet. I don't have my list of ships up right now. Um, so I'll have to build the rest of them at the start of next episode. But at least we'll have one Terrapin Maximus speeding her way along to the finish. 
And just in time for our war, a bunch of our ships finish. We have quality one 11 inch guns, not gonna matter. Um, yeah, that's, okay, Wichita's out. We're gonna have to build some more minesweepers. 13 and five. Ooh. Ooh. This could be an armored cruiser. It could be a battle cruiser. All I know is with the Yosemite class, I'm not too worried. I think that she can handle herself. Now she's slightly outdated. You know, we're talking 17, 18, at least 16 inch guns on a lot of the ships around here. So she could meet her match very easily. All right, but we are going to invest in American superiority. And by that, I mean, I'm gonna drive right at this ship, assuming that we are the superior. And okay, if it's a light cruiser, we indeed are. Konigsberg, ah, 30 knots, she'll be able to get away, but we'll do our best to chase her. We can land any hits, and this is where I'm talking about, oh, one hit already, nice. If we do happen to get any hits, oh yeah, that's gonna be the end of her already. Uh, we, we spend a lot of time using our forward guns only. Okay, that was extremely satisfying. They actually did ding us in the end there. Got one belt extended hit, but we're considered undamaged, zero points. Maybe it didn't count it because it was the last round, I don't know. Wonderful, let's look at this ship. Okay, I can't look at her because she's sinking, I guess. Well, we already looked at her. The mighty St. Joseph reports the United States' first kill of the war. Certainly not going to be the last. Okay, so we finished a bunch of construction. And I want to go to research just to put this. It's already on low. Okay, well, we're researching guns we don't need to research. What needs to go on high? I have absolutely no idea. This can go on low now. We're not gonna build any more ships, so these can all go to low. Um, fire control, I don't think there's anything left at 19 already complete. Don't think there's anything there. I don't think there's anything here either. Well, let's put it on high just because 14 techs. Seems like could, we could get some more out of that. Medium, and then high, high. I like all these on high. Probably that on high as well. Okay, good. Just a small adjustment to things. Oh, look at this. We've invaded the Caroline Islands. Off to a very fortuitous start. Oh, of course, we can secure better terms. Give us a chance to really fight this out. 10 and 1, very good. We only lost one submarine. 22 and 4, wow, they're really kicking our butt. This is the turn I build more minesweepers. Convoy defense, I will accept because we do have two lightning classes here. Against two dreadnoughts, I'm not sure what two dreadnoughts. This could be like a very bad thing. Maybe we end up, oh, okay, it's not gonna be really, it's gonna be one of these, huh? Well, I mean, if we're up against <laughs> dreadnoughts, what the hell is, what do we even do? We are. It's an old one, 25 knots, top speed. I think I saved my Grand Rapids. I mean, this sounds anti-American. This is not the way, this is not the American Navy way, right? The thing is, my fleet is not smart enough to disengage. Can I commandeer you? I can control them, but that'd be a lot of work. Yeah, what I'm thinking is we lay smoke for the fleet and then we disengage because Ugh, the fleet's not smart enough to try to leave. Like, look at what are they even doing? Are they trying to leave? Can't tell. Oh, we did send some torpedoes. That's what I was thinking of doing too. Okay, this is good. Ah! Turret disabled. Get away. Good. We're launching torpedoes at nothing. Oh, yeah, they're sinking all the transports. 
So we bravely, this is like the tale of Sir Robin. We, we bravely rode in the opposite direction. There's nothing we could do, though. That's really the story, is we just would lose a warship. So, like, from an economic standpoint, if I knew that these ships could get away, I wouldn't do this, and I don't think any American ship would do this. But... But this is the way it goes. I think what's happening, by the way, and this is uh, was the basis for an entire campaign I, I had uh, the span when I played the Spain... Is if you get if you have only big ships like battleships or um, dreadnoughts, when um, one of these missions is pulled that pits me up against like light cruiser, they should have light cruisers and destroyers, but it'll actually just pull in the next ship class available. So because they have no light cruisers or destroyers, um, it pulls in their their next highest, which should have been armored cruiser. They didn't have that, so then eventually they get to the dreadnought and they're like, okay, bring that into this battle, which should be for light cruisers and destroyers. That's how I think it works. Okay, so now we just wait for the everything to end. So we didn't lose any permanent ships, just that. It's a major victory for the Germans because they sank a bunch of our ships. I don't even know if it really should be worth that much, but that's okay. And what we're going to do is call this video to a close here nice and early because uh, I need to get those other battleships building, the other battle cruisers, I should say, the Terrapin Maximus. And uh, we can't do that um, without my list. Plus, we had to make this a shorter one for my, my timing. I had 30 minutes, and we still have a few minutes left, but I have nothing more to do. So, we'll call this one to an early close and pick it back up in the next episode. The war to end all wars has begun. Let's see how it finishes. Until next time, thanks for watching, and take care.